Hello everyone, Zeno and Zim here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we helped to Magnemite. And this time, we're gonna find out what we have to do. Zeno, check the mailbox. But there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Zeno. Aren't you up early? Oh, you checked the mailbox? So, was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? There's nothing? Hmm, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. Oh well. We should go to Pokemon Square. We should check the Pelipper Post Office. I think there'll be jobs posted. Pokemon Square is over here. Let's go. This is Pokemon Square. I just realized how quiet it was. It's alright. That's the Kekleon shop. But you can buy and sell items there. We'll go over this more in detail. That's the Phil SD Bank. You can save your money there. The most important shop right now, here, there, this is the Goblin Link shop. Goblin can link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. You should just ask Goblin for details. And this is the Kangaskhan storage. If you store items here, they'll be safe. You can store important items here before you go to a dungeon. Over the, there is the Makia Dojo. At the dojo you can learn and get trained on various maneuvers used in dungeons. What do you think? This, this new, there will help us. Oh, and there is also the Pelper Post Office. That's past up here. I think we can get rescue job information there. So I'll go to the Pelper Post Office first. No. Yeah, we can talk to our partner, but we're not going to. We're first going to stop it. Green Kecleon! Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have the good stuff, but he still has some good stuff, honestly. So, Gravel Rock is an item that we'll be getting more into. We'll eventually find dungeons that just have them laying around, so we shouldn't need to worry too much. Max Ether restores PP of water moves. Max Elixir does it for all your moves, but can also heal a steel status, which we'll get into much later. Orberry is as stated on this screen and blast seeds. You can make sure you attack one time in front of you for blast some huge damage. You can throw, also throw it to use it, but the power is much weaker. This is useful. I'm not buying it because well, we might have more more use for our money. Welcome to the Kickly on Weirs, where you can find TMs, and not just TMs if you're playing the original game. Oh, we got lucky to get Solar Beam early. Thunderbolt, Thunder, Jesus, we've, we actually got really good early on, and we can't even pay for these. They're still too expensive! Well, teams are in use anyway, but oh my god, why did we have to get these? I was just going to show them off and then be like, yeah, this is the Kecklin, but you want to talk to every day just to check for your moves. Oh, Solar Beam would have been good on uh, Ivory. So, Auntie Kangaskhan, yes, I'm going to call her Auntie Kangaskhan because essentially that's what she's called in the anime. We'll hold our items. I'm going to restore, restore, I'm going to store a tiny reviver seed. This is what I like to do a lot. I like to store items that can help us immediately, just for later on when we actually have dungeons where it's really tough. This is the Magohika 
Makuhita Dojo, only if we can train, can we become stronger. Dojo drills. We don't have any tickets to do these. But these this is useful. You want to remember this. I probably will not be using it except for on people who are not me and my partner. Why? Because it makes you quite overpowered. Tricks of the trade, however, you want to do these, no matter what. I'm going to go show you these three, because these are very good rewards, no matter what you want to get all three of these. Plus, this, t this one is very useful. Alright, let's practice by passing by our Pokemon. Come towards me by and then press B while holding left stick. Give it a try. Nice. It's very simple. Alright, okay, congratulations, you've completed the training. This is a useful technique, and it's something the game doesn't really tell you much about. Because you can push Pokemon, and it is important. Do you want to keep training? Yes. What a dash with dungeons. Because that's I. Because that Revive Seeds, those Revive Seeds are very useful. Hobby. Makes things really easy just not be using this a lot in LP. However, what we're wanting is these reviver seeds. I recommend you store them as quick as you can after you go through push a Pokemon. Off screen I'll do the rest, because the rest do also have good items. But we want but I want to just show off of these because these are very important. Just to remind you, these moves is the one probably you could probably ignore. Move diagonally you want to do, use items you definitely want to do, and change directions while moving you want to do. But we'll do that, but I'll be doing that off screen. Now, might as well go over these items. A skateboard. Using it lets you have a dungeon. You feel a lot safer if you have one. And I'd recommend always carrying one around with you. Unless you're a veteran. Reviver Seed. Remember that tiny Reviver Seed? This is better. This just is just factually better. It was what we only had in the old days. And this was a lot. This And these seeds were very common. Honestly. I'm happy with the tiny rare seeds may have make this not as common. Cause, oh my god. Oh oops, I forgot to press A instead. The gold ribbon is literally cell fodder. Speaking of cell fodder No Let's see because I I don't remember how much that sells for. Okay, that sells for a lot. I keep forgetting how much everything sells for, so this is going to be one thing that will surprise me every time. Now, this seems crazy, but I'm going to get the, over the Solar Beam TM.
and I'm gonna buy Shadow Claw, even though I don't think anyone can learn Shadow Claw. Well, at least for a while, because I know no one can, because otherwise it would tell us. Silver Beam, however, Ivory can learn, and it's better than Grass Knot. That is very rare to just... Now I'm going to put Shadow Claw into storage, and we'll finally talk about the last door, but I actually did not get a good explanation, honestly. The Gulpin Link Shop. Okay, so if we go to Remember Move, we can remember moves that we initially, well, not always had. These can be great moves, especially when you've leveled up. Uh, however, we don't have any moves we can learn, and linking moves, I'm not going to do that yet, because honestly, ugh, linking moves is a hassle in this game, and early on it's not that great. This is an important place. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescues. See, have a look at this Pokemon board. The list rescue jobs. Check it out. Oh, that's really good for first. Oh my god. All of these are really good. Why did I get these? Usually it's not that good. Sadly, we can't do both of these, but we can do both of these. See, there are jobs, right? If you want to do a job, choose a job and then go to the dungeon as indicated. You can go to the dungeon by taking the path near the base. While we're starting out, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Doing that should get some team recognition. That should pull in job offers to put our mailbox to put our mailbox soon. You want to remember this. This place is actually really good for later. Right now, not so much. Going upwards, there's the Wish Cash Pond, but we'll get to that later. You can't dunce from that road. Alright, she's just telling us what we have to do. Just doing that because that was bugging me. Oh! Alright, the other one was turning away from Cape Yeah, we'll have to do this because this one is actually kind of important. That treasure chest means we'll get more. Alright, job. So, we want to collect this treasure box. And that's why I wanted Solar Beam. Ton of money. Yeah, we've already set that up. Now we're gonna find ex execute. And that's how rescue jobs are done. Sorry, I'm not saying much about the rescue jobs, because honestly, this is standard fare. No. 
Really, the only ones I will be talking more about, but I don't want to talk about now, because honestly, they aren't bad right now, is escort missions, but we'll get, into, we'll, we'll get more into those once we get deep into the game. Awesome, I leveled up. Go on. This is a new thing from this game, honestly. Why would you go here? Move group, I've already talked about. Stop going to the enemy. You don't need to go. Elka's Tropical Gift. Finding items. These have been changed from the previous to what the previous games were where you had to find an item that the from a dungeon gym that the game told you. However, they weren't having special like names, nor do they do they have special uh Uh, special uh, looks. Oh my god, I'll have to just do this. This is the most annoying thing, you have to have them right next to each other. After that, the jumps are complete. No. We'll just continue exploring because this is useful. No, we can go. There's only two more floors. How many items we got? We should be ready for the next dungeon. Next new dungeon. But. Oh! I didn't expect to get Leech Life. Especially with, with it being the new version of Leech Life where it's overpowered. Thief! A team that is not that good in this game. And the rainbow gummy. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. Oh, I didn't expect to get to the joy ribbon. We'll be going over that next episode. Very quality orb. Oh, we talked about that much later because we can't even use its ability. So, with that, next time we'll be doing more rescue jobs and hopefully showing off a new dungeon soonish. This is Zeno and Azuma signing out.